Today we are going to dive into something super exciting: turning your regular PC into a money-making machine. I'm not talking about uh, some get-rich-quick scheme. We are going to explore the world of cryptocurrency mining, especially mining a coin called a Cubic using your CPU's processing power. Stick around. This is going to be a game changer. First off, what is Cubic Coin? In the vast、uh, universe of cryptocurrency, Cubic stands out due to its unique blockchain technology, offering faster transactions, lower fee, and a greener mining process. It's designed to be accessible. Meaning, with the right setup, anyone can mine Cubic, including you. The key concept is called a useful mining, using which your processing power will contribute to AI. The interesting and wild part is that、uh, CPU mining is actually more efficient and owning more than GPU. As a matter of fact, here is the hardware owning ranking. You might guess, AMD CPUs are the top owners. Let's go over it step by step, so you can follow along to turn your PC into a money making machine. First, you will need an account on Cubic Portal. You will need to sign up. You can use your email and create a password. So this one, make sure that、uh, you remember your password. It also asks you to solve a math problem. After the sign in, you can see your home page, the dashboard. And you will need to go to the pool mining, and you can sign up, subscribe to the fixed reward pool. So this one, you make sure that you click the subscribe button. Next step is to create a Cubic wallet. For Cubic wallet. It's very similar to other crypto wallet. You will need to create a vault. If you have already created it previously, you may need to import it. So let's、uh, if you don't have it, let's create one. Once you get your wallet address, you can return to your Cubic portal, and、uh, as you can see, you can find the pool mining here. You go to the setting. There is a tab setting, and、uh, you paste your wallet address. So this one is the sixty character Cubic ID. So this this one is public. So this one is the address is is the address I got for my wallet. So you can make sure that you paste your wallet address to here. And another thing. Is also important is that、uh, you will need to get the access token. So, so this access token, you make sure that you show the token and、uh, copy that. You will need that for later usage. When you actually set up your miner, you will need the access token here. Okay, so I think that that should be quite straightforward. The next step is to download、uh, the miner software. Please go to the download page, and here you look for your operating system. So for Windows, you can see. So I I recommend to download the the first one, and you can see there are two files. One is the executable application QLI dash client. The other one is the app setting. 
So let's open it. So so here you're gonna see it is a JSON file. You want to uh, define the number of threads, the payout ID, and all the also the access token. So you you are we want to modify it based on what you copied from the cubic portal. So so for for here you go to your pool mining you go to the access token you show the token and copy that and you want to paste it right here and uh, then it depends on your CPU model for example if you have a 16 core CPU you want to define probably maybe be 16 times 2 is 32 right so you can define like a 30 something but uh, for this uh, CPU, I'm using the 4600G AMD APU. It has uh, six uh, core and uh, 12 threads. So, so here, as you can see right now, my CPU has uh, 12 of them. If you are not sure, you go to your task manager. You go to your task manager, task manager here. You check your CPU, you can see it has a number of cores here, number six and the 12 threads. So so because I have 12, I can try like a 10 of that. Okay, so and, and make sure that you also got your access token. All right, so, so after you set that up, you can save it. And then you can double click the QLI dash client to start the mining. And I will show you the actual real time information from my mining here. And I also right now can show you the voltage for my CPU. So the last row there is a power. Yeah, and this is uh, my CPU monitoring most of my CPU is now at 100% utilization. So once that's running, you can let it uh, wait for a few minutes or even a few hours so it can become very stable. And then you can go to your cubic dashboard, see that uh, you will have your AI trainer performance being added up to your dashboard so you can check the performance of it. You will probably see it's different from mine because it depends on your CPU, your model, your actual performance, your last active, but uh, most likely you will get that to this part. You may wonder what the payout look like. This is uh, the record for my payout history. So I think for this mining, you need to be a little patient. The payout, the period is uh, once every week. That's based on the design of it. So as you can see right here, I mined the 101 epoch and I got paid uh, about 2 million tokens. This is the price per token at the time of my recording. But keep in mind that the coin price can vary a lot. So it depends the timing is really important. If you found this guide helpful, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss the other tips I will gonna show you. If you have any questions or stories about your journey, drop us a comment below. Until next time, keep mining and keep owning.